Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video we're gonna talk about the best paint for lure painting and we're starting right now. So you want to get into lure painting. In my opinion there is no better feeling than catching a fish on your own painted lures. And it simply is really satisfying. Now most lure painters use an airbrush to paint your lures, which is not an easy tool to work with and it takes a lot of practice and skill to master an airbrush. And therefore the most frequently asked question with this is, what is the best paint to paint my lures? About 90% of all lure painters uses or has used Kratex, and a large part of that other 10% has used or uses Vallejo. So that is why I will be comparing these two paints. Sure, there are tons of other paints out there, and most of them are really, really good. I just hope to help you decide what kind of paint you need to paint your first lure. Because at the end, it's the type of the paint that matters and not so much the brand. Now first of all, I'm gonna be really straightforward and answer the question, what is the best paint? And the answer is, there is no best paint. Most of them are really, really good. Well, most of them. It all depends on the situation, the colors that you want and how good you can work with that paint. Because some paints are easier than others and that is a fact. But that does not make it a bad paint. You just have to practice and learn certain things to use certain paints or to make it easier to work with. Now first of all we got Createx. The great thing about Createx is that they have an amazing color range with a lot of different types of paints. And they have certain colors you will not find anywhere else that easily. Or you'll have to mix them yourself, which is very time consuming. Some of these colors that I really like to use for lure painting are Wicked Detail Moss Green and Wicked Detail Sepia. Both of these are dark, transparent, natural looking colors which can be used to create really realistic paint jobs. Most of the Createx paints are thicker coming straight out of the bottle and that has some pros and cons to it. The good thing is that when it's thicker it's easier to use for applications such as with a paintbrush or when you dip it on there with a sponge or anything else. The downside is that this makes the paint a little bit more complicated for beginners to use with an airbrush because it will require thinning sometimes to make it flow better. And reducing your paint correctly is really a skill by itself that comes with airbrushing. And the best way to learn this is by practicing and trial and error. Critics bottles are really large, they're really easy to use and they're really durable. One bottle easily lasts you for a few hundred lures, depending on the size of the lures and also how frequently you use the color. The con with Createx is that it's not always easy to use and Createx has a large range of additives, things that you can mix into your paint to change the paint, which also makes it a little bit more complicated to beginners. Now for Vallejo, the pros are it's super beginner friendly and really easy to use. It can be used straight from the bottle, it doesn't need thinning and it flows really easily out of your airbrush. Vallejo has a really wide range of color shifts while Createx only has a few. Those color shifts are really really cool, they're easy to use and they give amazing results. Vallejo also has washes which are awesome for lures with carved out textures and details. Another great thing about Vallejo is that they come in small bottles, which makes them cheaper and allows beginners to start off with more colors for a low budget. The cons for Vallejo are that the color range is somewhat limited for lure painting. Vallejo does not have many transparent colors, almost all of them are opaque or semi-opaque. For beginners I recommend that you start off with some opaque colors, just to keep things simple. Maybe some pearls and a color shift if you want, those are really easy to use as well and they give really nice results. The thing is, with opaque paints you can paint a ton of simple lure patterns and practice your airbrush skills. Learn how to use it and how paints react. Later on, when you start to get more confident with an airbrush, you can start using transparent colors. But most of all, have patience, practice and give it time. And of course, have fun. Enjoy the process and progress will come automatically. First of all, I'm gonna show you the difference in consistency between Createx and Vallejo. Now you might think to yourself, why is this important? When we are using an airbrush, paint flow is really important. And that's why the consistency of the paint really makes a big difference because you need to blow it through a very, very tiny hole. And 
if that paint is too thick it, it might get a little bit difficult especially when there are really large pigments in there such as metallics or pearl but just to keep it simple and show you the difference here is the Createx paint and it's quite thick and the thing is you can also use this paint as a regular paint and just brush it on there that's not a problem at all Airbrush paint doesn't mean it's only used for airbrushing. You can use this paint with other applications as well. Now here is Vallejo. You see how that is a little bit more like water? Likes to run down. It's a big difference with Createx. And that's why Vallejo is a little bit easier for beginners to use because you can use it straight out of the bottle and you do not need high air pressures or anything. It's not too difficult to use and that makes Vallejo very beginner friendly. I'm quickly gonna explain the difference between a opaque and a transparent paint. Here I got Wicked Opaque Blue. The, the correct name is Wicked Opaque Daylight Blue which is a very bright blue. And if I use this opaque blue paint on top of that red paint it should be blue. You would not see the red anymore. It should be bright blue. Keep in mind that this is Createx, so it's a little thicker than other kind of paints. But still, I can use this straight from the bottle as long as my air pressure is high enough. So I'm shooting at about 40 psi. So as you can see that blue doesn't show any of that red and it's a very bright blue on top of the red and that's what an opaque paint does. It covers the other paint so that you do not see what's underneath. And now to show you the difference I'm gonna use Wicked Detail Blue which is a transparent blue. see how those colors mix and that red influences that blue because if I do it on white because now you can see here's that same transparent blue but on a white background and as you can see then it becomes really bright blue but on the red it stays really dark and that's because transparent paints blend in with their background and that makes Createx so great because their color range is so big you got so many opaques, transparents, metallics and pearls to choose from and so you can paint a lot of lore patterns and experiment and get really cool combinations and really nice results just because the color range is that big and to show you the difference with Vallejo, Vallejo is always a kind of a little bit in between it's not transparent and it's not really super opaque but it tends to be more opaque than it is transparent Vallejo doesn't have many transparent colors or you will have to use the washes or inks those are transparent but the regular game air and model air they are more opaque than they are transparent quick demonstration As you can see, it's not super bright, but it's still very opaque. Because it's almost the same color here on the red or the white, it's almost the same color. And that's what an opaque paint does. Another really great tip for beginners is that if you don't like the paint job or you made a mistake, you do not need to worry. The lure is not lost and you also don't need to spend a lot of time trying to remove the paint. Just spray white over it and start over again. As always, I will leave a link in the description down below of this video 
for all the paints and materials that are used in this video. This will guide you to my webshop which is based in Sweden and if you would buy anything there you will be supporting me and the channel. I really hope that this video helps you decide on what kind of paint you need as a beginner and that this will start off your new hobby as a lure painter. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.